Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I think you're exactly right, M. I think that's perfectly said. New game, whoop. New game, whoop. That's new colony, new game, new rim world, whoop. There is apparently, I was looking, uh, I actually read things. So I was looking in the recent notes for the recent stuff, and there's something about sliders here for how much anomaly we're going to get. So I wanted to check that out. Dr. Avalanche, Bresme, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I wanted to check that out. So somewhere in the in the update notes, there's how much anomaly you want to have in here and how often. So I kind of want to see if we can come across that and figure out what exactly we can do to maybe not get wrecked on day one. Really, it was more like fall, but you know, day one basically in my world. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's just pop ourselves down uh, broadly, broadly anywhere. I'd love to be near the royals if we could do that. What can we do, say, up here? Like, what's this? Uh, large hills and 30 out of 60. I'd love to see 40 out of 60. Oh, Bresme can't stay long. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm, I mean, it's very important that you're here because this is this is going to be a complete change from what you experienced yesterday and that we're actually going to try and do this reasonably properly. Uh, 50 out of 60 days. I don't, I think 50 out of 60 days is a little cheaty. Uh, what do we got here? 40 out of 60. Okay, 40 out of 60. We're kind of near some pirates, but we're also kind of near the royals. How about over here? 40 out of 60. Large hills, limestone, and granite. Yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. Okay. I don't know where these alleged sliders are. Uh, max Anomaly. No, because then it's going to be like a 30-minute stream. Em. Anna, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yes, you you were um, you were not tardy yesterday, but you did come in at the very, very end. The Anomaly content has been turned down quite a bit. Uh, it does not like feel like it takes over the run. See, that's what I thought when, when we were streaming for the past few weeks. I thought it just kind of dominated the whole thing like when they were introduced royalty and ideology and all that it kind of came in dribs and drabs and it, you know you could still play rim world um the last few streams i didn't feel like i was playing rim world i felt like i was playing anomaly and nothing else i do like to you know still play rim world okay i've got to go for my techno utopians i just have to i just have to because you know transhumanists i can't i can't resist that I absolutely can't resist that. Okay, where, where are us? Ah, no, not Xenotype Editor. No, I want, I want the thing where I, I want sliders. I'm not, I'm not quitting until I have sliders. Brian, 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 where are the sliders? I want to slide things, Brian. I specifically want to slide anomaly things. I checked at the options at the beginning. I didn't actually see it there, but we'll we'll give it a shot again. Um, now we're going to be hitting randomize for a long, long period of time. Although, I mean, you're broadly terrible, but you're not that terrible. You have an 11 medical, a 7 intellectual. Plants and animals, you just can't shoot anything. And you're pretty in a body modder. I like both of those things. Hang on, coffee is in my face. You know what? We're going to come back to this guy. I'm hungry for a slider too. I'm I'm starving. I'm thirsty for a slider. M. Ew, that that was gross. I'm sorry I said that. Now, um, give me somebody with some broad stats here. Give me somebody who's basically kind of good at a little bit of everything. Twelve on plants for cooking. Seven artistic. No medical. No intellectual. And eh, not really feeling that one. Onions, pickles, mustard. Sure. I need sliders, Brian. Tell me where my sliders are. I need to know where my sliders are. Uh, no. Uh, 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 you said no. Construction 7. Decent. Night Owl, Volatile, Slowpoke. No health conditions. You can't really do much else. Cooking of 3. We're going to come back to you. Oh, Jenna Lou. How could I resist the name Jenna Lou? Azrar, welcome, welcome, welcome. Actually, Jenna Lou's not completely terrible. Good shooting, mining, cooking, and you're enthusiastic about cooking. Medical of three. Okay, so don't get Axel on board here. Oh, I can't resist Jenna Lou. That's just too good a name. I can't, I can't, I can't. Custom difficulty when you choose Storyteller. Oh, okay, let's slide that back then. Okay, let's slide that back. Custom, custom difficulty, custom. There we go. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, all right, it's got to be in here somewhere. Insects spawning, infections, colonist instant kills, map generation, adaptation, ideology. Okay, 
Anomaly, here we go. Anomaly threats inactive, 8%. Anomaly threats active, 30%. Well, that's actually not that bad. Mark, welcome, welcome, welcome. I might actually just keep it exactly as it is. That's... Oh, I can disable children. Oh, that's good. I like the idea of that. Uh, aging, child shamblers. I don't really care about those either. Okay, adaptation. Yeah, okay, this is not actually as bad as I thought. Yeah, this this is fine. I think I think we'll leave that exactly exactly as it is and just kind of move on from there. I'm going to bump it down one because I'd like to be able to survive this. I know I can hear people going, oh, come on, that's really wimpy. But I, I kind of would like to, I would like to play RimWorld. I just don't want to get annihilated on day one. Now I've got to choose a thing again. Um, oh, actually, we're in the same spot. Never mind. Uh, can we go right back over here again? 40 out of 60, limestone and granite. Yep, I will take that. And then where's my techno utopians? Yep, take that. Thank you very much. Okay, back to you guys. Ah, I lost Jenna Lou. Oh, I lost Jenna Lou. We should help disable children, or we can just disable children. Just turn them off at any given point. I think I can do without the asthma here. You're good at melee. That's nice. Uh, no, you're addicted to drugs. We sell drugs here. We don't. We don't get addicted to them. Uh, did YouTube change the emotes? I have no idea, Hurley. No. Welcome, though, by the way. Apparently, Mark understands me. Well, you're the first, Mark. You're the very... Oh, hang on. You look halfway decent. Uh, you're Apparently, Mark understands me, and you're the very, very first. Oh, you're going to have a heart attack at any moment, though. Okay, I might be able to... I might be able to work with that, weirdly. Intellectual of six. Okay, you can do some smart stuff. Construction. We're going to come back to you. I might be able to work with the heart attack thing in exchange for you having a broad degree of good skills. All right, show me other people here who don't completely 100% suck. And this time, okay, this time, we're going to get our fundamentals under control before we poke the monolith. Okay? Before we poke the monolith, we're going to get our basics under control. Uh, so what can stone do? Stone's good at construction. Okay. So I need a cook. I'd like to have a better doctor. Uh, you've got doctoring skills, but not that high, but you've got enthusiasm for them. And you know what? Nobody's going to like you and you're going to have mental breakdowns immediately. Yeah, no, they, everyone's going to hate you. Um, okay, you're addicted to alcohol and you have a bad back. Ooh, psychically hypersensitive. I never did like that one. That's just a terrible one. Remember to lick the stream. Tastes like fresh meat for shamblers. We're not poking the shamblers. I, sh I see you're showing up with a case of beer. Oh, that's fun. Flapjack. Flapjack. I, I'm going to be very, very hard-pressed to resist this. A 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack. How? How can I resist that? How can I res Who comes with her own case of beer? A 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack. I'm not 100% sure I can turn this down. Um, I'm going to look at Agnew here and then randomize Agnew a lot. I'm not really sure I can turn that down. That has so many things that I don't want. Should I work today or just avoid my boss on Monday? Why not do both? Um, why not Why not not work and then also avoid your boss? Uh, what are you, medical six? That's not bad. Actually, you've got a broad range of skills, except crafting. And your daughter is Flapjack. Oh my god, how can I resist this? How can I possibly turn this down? Your daughter is technically older than you are right now. Uh, colony name Throbbing Monolith. Yeah, you're probably right on that one. Oh my god, you have so many things wrong with you. But I so want to hire you because you're an alcoholic 66-year-old forester named Flapjack. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to think about that. You are very good at plants and you do come with your own case of beer. The thing is though, that alcohol addiction, that's going to wreck mood. That is just I I can't have really bad moods in the first year or so, not until we get some more colonists. Um you're not completely terrible. Okay. How is my doctoring looking? I've got a six, I've got a four, and I've got a three. So technically everyone can do doctoring. I have a construction over five, so I can construct freezers. How about plants? I believe Flapjack was very good. I can't turn down the name. I This is not right, RimWorld. You can't hand me a 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack and expect me to pass on this. 
She is very good at plants. Very, very good at plants. And McLean, her dad, has a broad range of skills. What am I missing cooking? Actually, Flapjack can cook. I don't know what. I mean, my obvious thought is Flapjacks. I guess those are like small pancakes. They're not quite pancakes. Like, they're, they're mini pancakes. They're pancakes light. I don't know. You can do some mining. What am I missing? Intellectual? I don't have a strong intellectual, but I've got a six. I'm pretty sure I can't turn down Flapjack. She does come with her own case of beer. I could restrict her so she wouldn't have a beer, like, all the time. Hang on, I need coffee to live inside of me. No, I can't do it. I can't possibly be expected to turn down a 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack who comes with her own case of beer. Uh, you could get into brewing. I don't think I do. I do it. Um, it's sort of a, a later game thing for me. I get into the hardcore narcotics first, Charlie, because that's where the money is. I, that's where the I prefer waffles too. Em, I agree with you on that. But you know, any pancake in a storm, basically. Um, yeah, I know. I usually do that somewhat. Like if I have time, Hurley, I'll get into brewing because the hardcore narcotics are where the real money is. So we get into psychoid pretty quickly. But then, yeah, down the road. We could get into beer. If we, we might get lucky and get a book about beer brewing, and then we just sort of learn it passively. I love the books in Anomaly. I can't turn it down. I've got to have Flapjack. I have to. That's a, I wish I could have had Jenna Lou, because Jenna Lou has an amazing name. However, I'm taking Flapjack. Okay, this is the crew we're going with here. Everybody pop out of your shell, and then what do we do? Slam it into pause mode here. All right, let's get all the things that we need to get. Here we go. First moves in RimWorld. Let's just get all the things that we need to be getting for our things. Uh, just let her when she's stressed. Oh, she's going to be stressed. She lives here. There's her case of beer right there. Okay, she showed up with her own case of beer. I love it. I'm going to have to do a drug restriction basically immediately, but I, I love it. No, just... Oh, we got a cat. Oh, neat. We, we, we came in with Quicksilver the cat. Why are you not getting both silvers? There we go. And the knife, and the rifle, and the pants. Okay. Brad, welcome, welcome, welcome. Brad, I need to introduce you to our characters here. Stone and McLean, don't care too much about them. This is Flapjack. She's a 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack. Okay, so um, obviously I had to go with that. Where's the monolith? We will find out momentarily. I'll do my little scan around town here. Who is my best shooter? Uh, that would be, looks like stone. Yeah, stone is the best. You can have the rifle. Flapjack is second best. So you get the revolver and McLean gets the knife. Yeah, I'll do my little um, scan around momentarily. We got a kitty though. That's pretty good. That cat's probably dead. They usually are in my colonies. And then uh, what can we do here? How about McLean? You're going to be the one up close and personal. So why don't you wear the flak pants and the vest and the helmet and all that kind of stuff? And then we will uh, figure out what we're going to do from there. So get that on. Come on. And then get this on. And then you can have the helmet after that. Everyone else just sort of go about your business there. Have, have fun doing whatever it is you're doing around here. Sorincha, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, hang on. And there's a, a flak helmet. Uh, you always seem to grow too much. I mean, really too much. They spend time growing and cutting. Uh, you have 10,000 got cotton waiting to be hauled. Yes, I'm also swimming in food, though, Azrar swimming in food the whole point of me doing fields that large is so they can block the uh wind turbine areas so yeah it's just it's just the way i've always done it and I'm, I'm comfortable with it you're right brad it was the kid's fault in the last game you're not wrong i should have disabled children in this game that kid brought ruination to us all okay uh get the wood that will be right around there uh yeah i, I do deliberately large fields as are uh, because then we have plenty of plenty of plenty of of plenty of food okay well questions to be answered where indeed is the monolith uh usually it's right nearby we got tables this time that's good uh if i were a monolith where would i be i know i know the search feature is there but i also want to scan around the map and see what's going on like where is the uh the mech thing where's the little mech i don't know crash ship or something like that uh, let's not forget the dye fields. Yes! Oh, the fun we had with the dye fields before the entire colony turned to cannibalism. Oh, good times. Good good, good times there, Hurley. Good times, yep. Uh, you do have the option to auto-cut from the wind turbine. Uh, yeah, I just, um, it's just the way I do it, Ezra. And it's not, it does say your way, your way is right or my way is right or your way is wrong and my way is wrong. It's just the way I play the game. And that's the great thing about RimWorld. There's no one right way to play it. 
Um, you can, I, the Lord knows, if I can get through to the end of the game, anyone can. Where is the monolith? My god, am I actually going to have to search for this nonsense? That, is that it down there? What's that? Oh, that's an ancient generator. Alright, mon, mono, monolith? Monolith? One fallen monolith, please. Oh, it's up there. Okay, good. It's not anywhere near us this time. <laughs> Pretty happy about that. Yeah, you can go away now. You can go away. Okay, good. All right, what have I got? I've got a lot of good soil right there. Kind of fussy with the two lakes. That's not so good. A little bit of good soil up there. That's not bad. Uh, legit my most anticipated feature in the last patch. Yeah, cannibalism happened. Cannibalism kind of happened right after that. And, and immediately after that. I think we got like three walls painted and then we all started eating each other. Do I want to maybe take advantage of this? Maybe. If I do that, that's really far away from the things that I need. Actually, this might be a great area. This might be perfect. There's some geothermal right there. I've got good soil north and south fairly easy to wall off that's something else i want to work on in this version this stream whatever i think with anomaly we need defenses up faster additionally put them up so i don't usually start doing the wall until like year two maybe even year three but i think we need those up way way faster i think we're going to live over here i've even got a small patch of good soil right here so once again i'm putting us right in the middle of the monolith naturally but that is a really really good spot Oh, it'll be throbbing, Brad. It'll be throbbing. You don't even worry about throbbing. I got throbbing covered. I got throbbing all day for you, kid. Don't even worry about the throbbing aspect of this. Is that more uh, steel? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's do my moves here. Uh, first things first. Let's do the things that we need to be doing here. So, number one on all the things we need to be number one on. Thank you. Patient and bed rest. Okay, you are my best doctor, so you're going to be number one, but everyone can do it. So you can be like number two, and you can be number three. There we go. Uh, wardening, uh, sure, we'll get a prisoner at some point, and you can do that too. Just make sure they're still um, fed and watered, if you will. Uh, for the sobblers? Oh, shamblers. Okay, emergency shambler restriction indoors, the only attack on site. Yes, um, we will certainly look at that. The shambler was a bit of a surprise. Early. So Chandler was a bit of a surprise. Uh, you've gained many followers over the last week. The graph is broken. Um, it's shorts. Um, it's shorts. It, it's it's it's. I can't I can't put it down to anything other than that. All of the recent growth this week was from shorts. Um, three of them just are doing numbers that are frankly silly, frankly ridiculous. Like stop it, YouTube. Just stop it, would you? Uh, you can be number one on construction, but everybody does construction, even if they're not particularly very good at it. You guys are going to be the hunters, because you're the only ones with the guns. Obviously, you're going to be the cook, but you can cook. Mining, everybody does mining, whether they want to or not. And then you are very good at growing and plant cutting, so you're going to get into some of that. Uh, smithing, sure, we're not going to be doing that immediately, but we will be doing some crafting relatively soon. And then everyone else do the plant cutting and the growing, even if you're not very good at it. Dave's gone mainstream. Grundle, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, no, it's 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 primarily shorts. It's like basically like four shorts that just did stupid numbers. Just stupid, ridiculous numbers. Uh, just like, just it, it, it almost is silly. It's almost, I almost didn't want it. I mean, I do. Growth is always the goal. But there's a point where it's just like, that's like a 10 second short that I cut out of another video that frankly was better. Steph, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and you know, the video that it was cut from did like 200 views and the, and the short did like 15,000. It's just a little silly sometimes, but hey, I ain't turning it down. Um, shorts, I, 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 I've said it before, but you know, a viewer said, oh, you shouldn't be doing shorts, they're beneath you. No, they're not. They're absolutely not beneath me at all. I will take any opportunity for growth so yeah that's that's what you're seeing there em it was all shorts all shorts all my my shorts are taking off and my shorts my shorts are off um dave went mainstream that we no longer are the cool kids and you'll always be the cool kid trust me because it sure ain't me okay basic moves basic moves basic moves i may still end up doing another courtyard around the monolith that's not the worst idea but let's start with some fundamentals here 
Um, oh god, the, the happy tree. You know what? The happy tree is gonna have to die. I'm so sorry about the happy tree. Happy tree can't be happy anymore. No happy tree. We're not doing happy trees, okay? No happy trees at all. Um, so let's see, I need one and two and three and a slightly larger one because that will end up being my prison. And then I'll sacrifice a little tiny bit of the good soil to make a decent sized workshop area. Okay. Um, yeah, my short, my short, no, my shorts aren't off. They're taking off. I'm in the process of taking them off, Will. No, my shorts are off. Uh, but put your shorts back on. No wonder the number's rocketed. Okay, and then a few doors in here. And then we need some zones. Zone, that, and that. And then one zone. I need to put someone on max hauling, uh, basically immediately. And I need another door. Let's do one door there and one door down here. Okay, there's my beginning. Who could do max hauling? Uh, McLean can. McLean, you're on maximum hauling right now. Oh, Flapjack. The, the, whole, the, whole, the whole run is going to be about Flapjack. We all know that, right? The, 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 the whole thing is going to be about Flapjack, who will definitely be my royal person. Queen Flapjack, that just writes itself. Writes itself. Uh, no, absolutely, Mark. Growth is growth. I'm not turning it down. Dance of the Sheep. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just saying that, um, you know, none of that was really to do with me. Um, it was more to do with, you know, a couple of clips pulled out of other videos, uh, which I'll obviously be trying to replicate very, very quickly uh, as best I can. Okay, the beginnings have happened. Now, I don't want to completely block off that hydroponics and that one. They are right in the middle of that good soil, though. Okay, let's do this. I want to say slightly differently, but not a lot differently. Not a lot differently. So let's do power. Give me my wind turbine going here and here. Okay. And then my growing zones. Let's get this going here. So that, like that, and that one, like that one. Let's do... Yeah, that can be potatoes. That's fine. This is going to be all good soil. So let's do corn in there. And then down at the bottom, Mel, talk show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Mel, Mel, Mel. I'm so glad you're here. Talk show, I'm glad you're here too. I'm so glad you're here. I need to introduce you to Flapjack. Okay, Flapjack is a 66-year-old alcoholic forester. I couldn't resist it. Even though I hate having colonists who have addictions... And they're just some colossal pains in the neck. I couldn't turn it down. She came with her own case of beer, Mel. She showed up. She crashed landed. Okay, so like the spaceship blew up. And then she somehow still salvaged the beer. Okay, this is... I'm predicting the entire run is going to be about Flapjack. I think everything... This is going to be the tittles of this run. Everything is going to be about Flapjack. Uh, this could just be some rice down in here. And then, no, don't expand anything. And then over here could be a little bit of, I don't know, something else. Uh, what else do we grow? How about strawberries? That's a decent one. Okay. Uh, yeah, alcoholic forester who showed up with her own case of beer. Jack, welcome, welcome, welcome. Drinking beer and logging does go hand in hand. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, so let's, speaking of which, actually, while they're doing the basics here, let's get some, now that I've got a, an alcoholic forester, I need to actually manage a drug policy for her. So let's do a new policy and, uh, we'll call it, uh, we'll, I'll, no, call it, I don't know, um, the, I don't know, vision of flapjack. There we go. No, no, not clap of flap. No, no, not, not flap. Flapjack. Okay. Vision of Flapjack. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you've left me unattended, Mel. And we know that doesn't work out well. We don't. Okay. So Vision of Flapjack. Here we go. So you can totally have beer, but not very often. Okay. So that's the scheduled. All right. So you know what? Let's just, while I'm here, I'm just going to say, no, no, not the hardcore stuff. Not the hardcore stuff because we need that to sell that to people. Uh, definitely never this. No, no, never that, never that stuff. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay, there we go. Hope you're going to get some hops going. We're going to try. I mean, it's day one. It's literally day one. We'll try for that. I mean, that's that's some research. Okay, so we can have this maybe 
Uh, no, not two times a day. Every two days, if your mood is wicked sad. So how about, like, if your mood is below 60%. All right, and your recreation, I don't know, 75%. So if you're kind of glum, you can have a beer. It's your, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Jack. Happy birthday, Jack. Um, so if you're a little glum, you can have a beer every now and then, basically. So let's say 60 and, and some other stuff too. Some other, you know, substances could, could exist. In fact, you know what? Having said that, I think I'm going to start growing Psychite early just to stockpile it. I won't have the research for a while, but I could get that going. And that way, when I do have the research, I'm ready to go into the freelance pharmaceutical business. Uh, psych IT, again, every every two days, and then same again. I'm just making up these numbers, by the way. I, I know some people have, like, hardcore numbers that they adhere to. I am not that person. Um, hang on, coffee. No, Hurley, you should not play the flapjack drinking game because you'd be dead at this point. You would already have keeled over and died. I've said flapjack many times because I have a 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack who crash-landed on a planet with her own case of beer. And I can't turn that down. What is Juggernaut Serum? Oh, that's... A, wait. Metal Blood Serum? <gasps> How do I make this? Metal Blood Serum. I want to be on that all the time. I want to be on that all the time. A syringe of rust-colored liquid constantly hardens and liquefies... Metal blood can harden flesh when it anticipates a blow. Oh, makes the user particularly vulnerable to fire. I don't care. We're all getting doped up on metal blood serum. And I will also buy that album. Because metal. Friendly reminder, your something of something can also be... I, I don't know. That icon is in the way. I hate that icon. Okay, everyone can go on the Vision of Flapjack drug policy. Which in and of itself sounds amazing. And then, you know what, while I'm here, I may as well set up, actually, I don't want to set up an apparel policy now, because we're not going to have any new clothes for a while. And I've got a kitty. I've got Quicksilver the kitty here. I should probably just give kitty a, an area right now, because we know how that's going to go down. I'm going to forget, and then something will come along and kill it, because that's pretty much how my day goes. Okay, so I could put, okay, here's my plan. I'm going to put a medium like size thing of psychite down here and we're gonna go we're gonna go heavier into um well the substances basically substances um my co bag is gonna have some beer tobacco skins and various pg-13 narcotics fair uh no 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 not not yet flapjack i haven't told you what to grow in here uh do psychoid I could get hops going now, but I, I, mean, don't, I don't have the research for it. I mean, I don't have the research for Psychite, but I could get it fairly soon. And that's fine. Later, when I want that geothermal. Yes, we're aware of the, of the throbbing monolith. Thank you so much. It's right in front of us. I could try for a courtyard again. That might be nice. Did you miss anything interesting? Bobcat, let me introduce you to Flapjack. Flapjack is a 66-year-old alcoholic forester who crash-landed on a nail. We're all about Flapjack. I couldn't turn it down. I couldn't possibly turn that down. No one could turn that down. I dare any of you to turn that down and say, nah, I'm not going to get that flapjack person. Um, could you Could you go somewhere? There you go. Come down into here and then go over to here and then come over to here. All right, good. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. They're working on some growing and now I just kind of need to let them do their thing for a while. And we should actually, we're going to end up with extra wood because we're chopping all this stuff down. So let's get some bedrooms going on here. So I'm once again, as I always am, going to spoil my colonists by giving them excessively large beds that they don't really need. But with a nice bedroom, I can really up the abuse factor around here. And then this will eventually be, be my prison. So let's do... Uh, just a couple of beds for right now. That's all I need. Uh, Flapjack will be the lone survivor. I'm calling it, I'm calling right now that Flapjack is going to be the tittles of this run. This, this Flapjack will be the tittle. Flapjack will somehow survive everything. Drunk. Just hammered. Hammered. Um, I'm going to go full Dave Room World for my go bag. 
So lots of freelance pharmaceuticals and some corn that takes forever to grow. Fair. That's, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. I see what you're doing there. Yeah, we're, we're just taking down the happy tree. Sorry, we're, we're taking down the happy tree. The happy tree has got to go away. We don't care about the happy tree. Uh, it's not a colony without a throbbing monolith. True. True. And I might do a courtyard again. Because I, I, I kind of liked the idea of that when I was thinking about doing a courtyard. I'm like, wow, that might be fun. We could have a courtyard. And then we didn't because we all died. Because don't poke the shambler is really how that goes. Just, just don't. Don't poke the shambler. That was a terrible idea. We should never, ever do that again. Uh, I'm calling the strange toddler coming as the survivor. So yeah, I've um, I, I've been kind of playing this on my own time as I was telling you guys. And um, boy, strange things do happen with Anomaly. I got a strange kid who showed up and now he's useless because he's freaked out. And now he just wanders around the base. I, I feel like ejecting him, but also I kind of feel vaguely bad for doing that. So I haven't. I don't know. I'll probably just have him killed as usual. All right, let's get things moving a little bit faster here. Um, I should probably, you know what, in advance, let's just start getting some of this extra heal root out of here because we know we're going to run out of medicine because we always run out of medicine. Running out of medicine is kind of par for the course with me. Also might set up another bedroom for like potential hospital area. Okay, maybe, maybe. Um, also, let's start setting up. I, I know I've got eight trillion things for them to be doing. I totally understand that. Um, however, you know what? I've actually got too much rich soil. I never thought I'd whine about that, but I've got a lot of rich soil here, and it's kind of in the way of things. I should probably start tunneling into the mountains sooner rather than later. Hmm. Uh, I saw the colonists are purple. I think they just have purple face masks on. I don't think they're deliberately purple. I think they're kind of accidentally purple. Did I put a growing zone in there? I didn't, and I've also got geothermal right there, too. Okay, I could build down here. I'm mostly talking to myself right now, but then that's kind of the nature of what I do here. Now let's do a stonecutter's table right there. And I'm going to get optimistic about research and try and put a research bench up. Uh, so let's put that up over here so I can do the whole thing with one light. And then obviously chairs for everybody. Opening moves, opening moves, just like a game of chess. And then a shambler comes along and tips the whole table over and spits in your face and laughs at you. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, beds for hostages. Yeah, I've got. Uh, that's going to be my prison room right here. That's the prisoner rooms is ready to go right there. Okay, so you guys can start taking some beds. So that can be obviously Flapjack's bed. That goes without saying. And then you can have uh, that bed. And then when the other bed is, be is built, you can have another bed. That's pretty much how this is going to go here. Okay, uh, is that the happy tree coming down? Because I'm waiting to hear the scream. All right, Flapjack may be an alcoholic forester, but damn, this kid can plant. Wow, she is moving through this. Trees coming down. Oh, she's just wrecking stuff. You, you can see the forester, can't you? You can see the fo Oh, we're already having a break risk. What is Stone's problem already? Probably has no words. You have a bed. I gave you a bed. Just cut the happy tree down. Finish everything off. All right, most stuff has been moved, it looks like. I think we're waiting on a little bit more silver. A uh, hospital big enough for a demon cage. Yep, we're not going to poke the monolith right now. Oh, I'll do bedside tables later, Mark. I'll pretty it up later. Right now, we just want to get them beds. You have to select the happy tree and cut it. Uh, not when they finish this room off, because they're going to have to cut it to put the roof on. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll take care of itself. Yeah, that'll take care of itself just fine because they're going to finish this spot over here and then they're going to try and put a roof on and they're going to have to cut all the trees that are inside to put the roof on. I'm just going to wait for the happy tree to do its happy little dan dance of death. Uh, Stone, see, Stone's cutting trees down. Stone's like, I got to get these trees out of here. These trees, I, I can't, I'm can't. i trying to put a roof up here. I'm, I'm trying to put a roof up and I can't put a roof up. Oh, I think we just got, okay, that's all the stuff that was moved. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to back you off of that and put you on just two for hauling. And then anything else, you just kind of do your thing there, McLean. Yeah, McLean's wicked into roofs. He loves roofs. Absolutely awesome. What's up? I want to check it on Flapjack because, you know, Flapjack. Just planting corn like it's going out of style. Oh, this kid. I'm going to tell you, I'm calling it right now. This entire run is going to be all about my 66-year-old alcoholic forester named Flapjack. Also, um... Do I want to just start cutting things now? No. Oh, this is done, though. Great. Uh, do any stone blocks anything. 
and do them forever. All right, because we're going to go a little faster on defenses than I might normally do. And actually on that, let's do this. Let's do a zone up here. I don't like that much. That'll do for now. And this is just going to be things that I don't care if they're outside. So that is going to be stone blocks and steel and uranium. There we go. I mean, I suppose I could put gold and silver up there too, but I never do. And then over here, take that out. So there's no stone blocks, no steel, no uranium. Thank you. Okay. So who's in charge of crafting? That is going to be stone. Great. So we still need to focus on food. Who's in charge of research? That's also going to be stone. Hmm. Okay, let's have a think about that. Uh, also, is all my power up? No, my power is not up yet. Uh, there's visitors. We need a research project. Everything is awful, I know. Uh, tastes like flapjacks. The person, not the food. I wouldn't cut the happy tree. That sounds like how to get shamblers. Uh, happy tree is ideology. Shamblers are anomaly. I think we're going to be fine either way. It'll all, it'll all work itself out. It's all going to be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's absolutely fine. And I'm going to put up a... Yeah, I could put that up over here. That's actually, there's already stuff over here. I may as well keep that plan going. So let's do a dumping zone, like, I don't know, here-ish. That'll work. Uh, just for chunks. And no corpses over there, please. No, just the chunks. Thank you very much. Uh, items are tox packs. That's what's in there. Um, I'm going to broadly ignore these guys. Wait, your name is Yggdrasil? Oh, that's awesome. Yggdrasil and Ben. Oh, that sounds like a great sitcom. Can you move and replant the happy tree? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I can chop it or not. Nope. Can't remove it. I can take it down or not take it down. Don't care. Don't care. Just take the thing out. And no no, no need for this nonsense. Absolutely. Uh, McLean, are you sad that you don't have your face mask on? Uh, no, you're broadly okay. Okay, good. Excellent. And if you guys ever finish this wall, then you could actually have your own things around here. Uh, must have been a mod. Yeah, probably. I'm, I, as Willow would say, there's a mod for that. Uh, Dave's train is on full steam ahead. Uh, well, the corn is coming in. The potatoes are planted. I tell you what, say what you will about my 66-year-old alcoholic forester. The kid can plant a potato. All right? can you? The kid can plant a potato like nobody's business. I'm going to... How's my... How's my defensive idea look here? We're going to have to tunnel into both of these mountains. But right now, i got to set up some concept of food. And I bet you're not going to let me build over there. I need stone blocks. Quickly. Like, kind of quickly. Like, really quickly. Like, everyone's asleep. Could you all wake up and start doing things around here, please? I'd like to have the bulk of my, my construction done. All right, McLean's up. Oh, uh, I never checked. Do I have any night owls? I might. Super immune. Uh, nope. And nope. Okay. Oh, you're jealous, though. All right. Remind me. That's the one where you have to have the best bedroom. All right. You got to have the best bedroom. Okay. I will begin to work on that concept in the sense that, I don't know, I can put a floor down for you, kid. That's about the best I can do in a, maybe one, I don't know, a bureau? Would you like a bureau? Yeah, you're going to be a little fussy, but you're easy to please later when I have cool stuff. So uh, put a bedside table down and then put the dresser up. Oh, I don't know. Over there. There we go. Spike little girl. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, no, the, 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 the kid knows a tuber. You ain't wrong, kid. No, you ain't wrong. There's there's some red hot tuber action going on here. She's got all, she's got all this planted. She's got everything planted. It's like day two. She's got everything planted. This kid's amazing. All right, so could you guys finish, like, all the things that I've asked you to finish, please? Are you going to take down the happy tree now? Are you going to figure that out? Are you taking down that tree? Are you going to take down... Yeah, are you gonna, yeah you're going to take down the happy tree. Wait for the scream. There we go. Disturbing psychic scream. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, don't need to tell them to chop it down. They'll do it by themselves when they put the roof up. Okay, uh, yeah, the anima tree is indeed dead, and we're all just going to have to suffer. And we will. I'm, I'm assuming you guys are... Pretty sad about that, yeah. How long is that going to last? Oh, it's only five days. Oh my god, I can keep them happy for five days, I think. I can't. That's that's a lie. Uh, are we all powered up now? We have uh, we have that power working? Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, great. Let's get some lights going on in here, then. 
So how about one light right there? And then, yeah, sure, we'll put one there and there and there. Now I need to think about the concept of food. Right. Maybe I could spin it over here. Not the worst idea. Not the worst idea. I might... I'm not touching the monolith, Spike Little Girl. We see where that's led in the past. We, we see where the terrible idea touching the monolith has been. We probably won't do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put my kitchen in a different area, which is weird for me. I'm not... I just... I'm so geared to just build these things exactly as I always build them. There's a mad squirrel. Okay, hang on. So there's the first of our little issues there. Mad squirrel. That's fine. We can cope with that. Everybody get drafted. Everybody come over here. We're gonna go beat up a squirrel. So come in here. We're already shooting it. We're shooting and shooting and shooting. Shoot here. That might work. Okay. I've got some ideas. Uh, mind your coffee before it gets cold. That's an excellent idea. Thank God Brad is keeping us on track here. There we go. Um, I get lucky on maps. Sometimes we've had a couple of runs where I've just been on a map with zero steel for some reason. Like just no, no steel on the map at all. So this, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of that. You know what, though? I'll put a door out there. Now we can just at least easily access and put a door here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work nicely. This will work very, very nicely. Can people have a mood break and go try to smash the monolith? I have no idea. It's throbbing. I mean, I'd want to smash it. I'd be like, hey, you monolith. I'm going to smash you because I'm having a mood break. Okay, and then here... Where's all our steel? Well, you know what? They will go get it at some point. It's not like it needs to be in storage for any reason. Um, but let's just do a steel wall. I know you think we don't have enough, but I promise you we do, game. And then you can just do a steel door there. And then a steel wall. Um, let's see. How big is this going to be? Probably like that and that. And then I'm going to put the, t the, uh, the coolers... Out this way, I think. One there, one there. Oh, Flapjack's having a sad wander because of alcohol withdrawal. Kid, you came in with your own case of beer. It's probably not like enough time has passed for her to actually go with the restriction and go get a beer. You trapped a fox inside. Don't think it will go well for the cat. Um, no, or I could just shoot it. Shooting it will work. Shoot, shooting it, shooting it always works with foxes. Uh, you'll smash the monolith because it's throbbing? Well, yes. Uh, I have a prison, Mark. It's right there. It will be a prison. It will be a prison at some point when Stone moves out and gets his bedroom over here. When they figure that nonsense out. It will be a prison. I've already, already coped with that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, give her a hug or a beer. <laughs> I think she'd prefer the beer. It's kind of her thing, actually. All of that can go down there. This is an unusual base design for me. I don't usually do stuff like this. This is very odd. I'm a little uncomfortable. But now that I'm here, what could I, could I put in a growing zone over here? I mean, I've got it. I may as well use it. Did I... I didn't put any heal root up, right? No, because I did psychoid down here, which, by the way, is completely planted. Uh, yeah, let's do some uh, heal root here. Perfectly good spot for that. Um, Flapjack's just kind of wandering around. You know what? You do you, kid. Where are you? Yeah, you're just wandering around all sad. Do you want to go get a beer? Because you are wicked sad. That's like a time when you're allowed to get a beer. Let me check that restriction again. Let me see if I set that up properly, because I probably didn't. So, uh, yeah, no, I know that part. Yeah, no, manage it. So, yeah, if your mood is below 60, maybe I'll bump that up a little bit. How about 65? You can have a beer. Because you really, really like beer. Really like beer. Okay, and everything else is basically fine. Basically fine. Okay, everything's fine now. Uh, change a prison bed to a med bed. Maybe, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, we're just gonna kind of plug along. And we're not, I mean, if you'll, <laughs> Mark, you know me well enough to know I'm not gonna play this perfectly. I'm gonna do things on the fly. I'll make it into a medical bed when I need it. Uh, Flapjack's gonna have a complete breakdown. Would you just like to go get a beer? Just go get a beer, kid. Here, I will, you can have a beer. All right, drink a beer. There you go. You're going to be so fussy. I love everything. You're going to be so, so fussy. Just go get a beer, kid. You'll be great. Have a great time. 
Um, I should probably get figure out hops sooner rather than later. Um, yep, okay, so the cat is in danger. Yep, called that one. Uh, no, no, don't clean the room. Kill the fox. Yeah, melee attack the red fox. Um, Flapjack, are you done with your beer yet? Because I need you to go kill a fox. Yeah, the cat didn't even last through, the, like, the second day. Okay, uh, go melee attack this thing. No, don't arrest stone. That's a terrible idea. Um, kitty, go away. Go away, kitty. The cat's dead. The, the, and now, now stone's dead. We're all gonna die to a fox. Flapjack, you get in there. I mean, you're hammered now. You're drunk. Go... Oh my god, why could we not kill this one fox? That was ridiculous. Team, very poor showing, team. Very, very poor showing on that. I That was not a good first engagement there. Now I've, I've got to fix the cat. No, not the party spot. No, 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 that was a terrible idea. The, the animal sleeping spot. There you go, put it up there. And then um, somebody who knows what they're doing, go rescue the cat. Rescue Quicksilver, please. Don't bother rescuing the fox. We don't need that one. Um, Stone's gonna hang out over here. Okay, so first off, heal the kitty. Oh, you're already tending to him. Good. Um, Flapjack, can you uh, do some basic... Yeah, there we go. Tend to stone. Uh, colony wipe via one red fox. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yep. Yep, all of a sudden I got a whole bunch of pop-ups about medical treatment here. Okay, Flapjack, just get in there. Thank you. The cat, it will be fine eventually. I mean, I know it's going to be dead in two hours, but now it's fine. Um, Stone, how did you fare with that? Uh, yeah, no immediate danger, per se. Per se. But uh, I see you've had a beer. I see you had a beer. You had no problem getting a beer. Apparently, the, the alcoholic couldn't find a beer. But you found a beer. Are you better now, by the way? Are you just at least a little bit happier? What do you mean, alcohol withdrawal? You just had a beer. Did you not... Drink the beer. Have another one. Just drink beer until you shut up. This is all, the, just drink a beer until you shut up and stop whining. Uh, strong union of y yes, yes, but not quite. Strong union of throbbing. No, just throbbing. You know what? Just throbbing. Just, just throbbing. And um, the settlement is Flapjacktopia. Flapjacktopia. No, no, no. Topia. There we go. Uh, do you have a cooking spot? No. No, we got meals. We got meals. Uh, I'm building a kitchen right now. We're in the process of building a kitchen. Kitchens are happening momentarily here. So we're, we're not even sweating that. We're going to get all sorts of things are going to be happening soon. So let's do an electric stove right there. All right. And won't even sweat the chair right now. I'll do that later. Uh, prohibition worked. <laughs> yes, it didn't work rather. No, you're right. It didn't. Uh, prohibition was a terrible idea. And then butcher table right there. I know it's outdoors game. I know it's outdoors. I do have a dying fox. Yep. We'll get other animals. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of animals around here. Uh, see, plenty of animals. Ready to be slaughtered. Ready. Ready to be slaughtered. Uh, drinking beer never made me shut up. <laughs> Sing stuff outside your comfort zone. Truth. Very true. Very, very true. Okay, um, I'm just going to let the fox die, frankly. Um, Flapjack's asleep, and McLean is eating. None of this is really doing what I need it to do. Although you are building my cooler, which is great. I do appreciate that. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, all of those are cleared out. Let's do my backup power. So where is my wood fire generator? Tuck that guy right there. We'll get on the turkeys. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, de we'll deal turkeys. Uh, is, are they building that last bedroom because of the rocks? No, I think they're just being lazy. Honestly, they'll move the rocks. They'll move all of this stuff. Uh, none of this will... I mean, I'll, I'll target it to be hauled, but they'll, they'll move it anyway. Well, they'll move stuff that's in their way. So they won't move the one out of the door. They'll just have the door open forever, and they'll, then they'll whine about things. Um, but this one, they will move when they need to build the wall. That's just kind of how they do. Uh, where is, um, a stone? I see you're fully healed. Could you get up and do some work around here? Just, just for asking? Asking for a friend? No, everyone's asleep. McLean is still busy working, though. McLean, hardest working man here. Okay, hardest working man right here. Um, you know what? Just for having the conversation, go see if these guys have anything worthwhile trading. They don't. It's gonna be, yeah, package survival meals. Okay, I could sell them that mask. 
Uh, it's not a bad idea. I'm not, I mean, I'll make some money. I'm not going to turn down some money. I don't need one herbal medicine. I can get those off the map. Um, I'm just going to take your money, kid. I'm just going to take your money and have you leave. And then McLean's probably off to bed. Yeah, figured as much. Figured as much. Stone, what are you coming to do? What are you? Oh, you're finishing off the butcher table. Oh, good man. Good man. Uh, why don't I set up a zone here, which will do nothing right at this exact second, but at least be a start. So zone, get rid of everything. Thank you. And you can close that off. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, yeah, no rotten stuff, please. So meals. Yes. Raw food, baby food, chocolate, blood, and pemmican, and then corpses of animals. Oh, and mechanoids. Yeah. Animals and mechanoids. I don't know how much the entity corpses are going to decay. We might come back to that. I see there's already a dead person over by the monolith. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, super. Super. This is going to be so much fun when we poke the monolith. Flapjack right back into the gardening. Had a bit of a bad day yesterday. Right back into the gardening at this point. Loving the gardening. Is everyone else asleep? Is that the problem? Now, Stone's cutting down stuff. That's cool. Oh, he's finished that wall, so he did indeed move that rock out of the way. That's neat. Um, McLean, how busted are you? Eh, you've been worse. You've been worse. This is fine. Everything is fine now. Everything. This is already off to a better start, my opinion. I'm going to tentatively plug some research on. This is a terrible idea. I might actually... I don't want beer brewing right now. That's a terrible idea, but it might be smart. You know, what with the alcoholism? What with the rampant... These are all... This could be a colony of drunks. They're all just going to be swaying all over the place, slurring their words. I usually don't even get into research this early. What I'd like to see is somebody starting to work on stone blocks. So, yeah, there's a lot of construction going on. Okay, I'm going to let Stone finish the construction uh, simply because he's the best at it. And it won't be too much longer. We'll, we'll have this done fairly soon. Oh, and then i got to turn off here all of the things I just turned on. So, no food in here. No food at all. And also, nothing rotten, by the way. And while I'm in the neighborhood, does beer degrade? No, it doesn't, apparently not. It doesn't seem to, anyway. I should probably store the beer somewhere in a cooler or something. Um, you know what? While we're here, I guess we can optimistically butcher creatures. Do that forever. A colony of drunks in a horror game. Truth, yeah, that, that, that kind of plays out. That, that's, that's a bit of a theme. Um, McLean, where are you going? Oh, you're just moving stuff. I mean, that's wicked cool, McLean. I, I really do appreciate that. I feel there's better things we could be doing with our time. So I'm going to put you back to, like, three on that. Okay, go back to three. Why don't you, um, you're two on construction. Yeah, why don't you see if you could, f okay, and you're cooking now. You found a squirrel. You just found a random squirrel. Don't even know where the squirrel came from. Are we out of steel? Wow, we are. Okay, um, let's fix that then, shall we? There's a big chunk of it, like right over here. There we go. Go mine that vein and that vein. I need to put somebody on like hyper mining right now. Um, Flapjack, you know what? Basically, Flapjack, everything is planted. So go on number one mining. I know you're not spectacular at it, but you're not terrible. And then we can get the steel to finish it off because this meat ain't going to last. That meat's not going to last two seconds in there. Uh, Mc McLean, really? You're into growing now. I mean, that's awesome. I'm really pleased about that. But, um, again, construction, well, you don't have the materials. You're just, you just don't have the materials. Okay, you know what? Go back to hauling then until you get the materials to do the things that you need to do. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, there's a raid. The Pest Group. Well, that's a very unimaginative name. What a terribly boring name you've given them. Um, oh, by the way, this is Stone's bed now. Okay, so Stone, you be there. All right. All right. Um, well, the very boring pest group with Dumbo. Oh, I can't make this kind of comedy up. Couldn't make this up if I tried. Uh, so Dumbo's coming in hard, I might add. Dumbo's coming in hard, and he is into some raiding right now. There's some hardcore raiding going on. Oh, someone else is eating the animals. I wanted that one. Not anymore. It's disgusting, but there it is. Uh, Flapjack, move. Move. A little fa I know it's muddy. A little faster there. 
You're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk right now. You're absolutely hammered right at this moment. Okay, where's um, where's my man coming in here? Oh, he's going around the other side. Okay, he's going around the other side there. That's fine. We can cope with that. Where's uh, McLean? McLean, you're going to kind of hide up here and then spring out and go, Ha ha, I've got a knife. Um, can we... Wow. Flapjack, you are really hammered right now, aren't you? Is that your bad back issue? Don't worry. I'm going to get you like a bionic spine at some point. I don't even sweat that. Don't even set. You don't even worry about that. I'm going to find you something that is not your own spine and then basically give it to you. All right. So you're coming in and then surprise. Ha ha. And stab in the back. Stab in the back. S stab in the back. There we go. He's done. Okay. All right. Good. Everyone slam it into pause mode. Let's make this into a prison. And then that one can just go ahead and be medical. And then McLean, I know you're a little banged up. Probably not that bad. No, you're fine. You got one bruise. Capture this guy. All right, capture Dumbo. Yes. How dare you, Dumbo? Uh, no, be undrafted. There we go. Everybody undrafted. I see you showed up with some drugs. That's that's encouraging. That We're going to need that. We're going to need that. It's very dangerous for me to laugh right now. Good. Depending on the firearms, some are made to be shot drunk. Uh, hang on. No, no. We got to fix Dumbo here. Uh, yeah, Dumbo's going to be dead soon. Uh, remind me again, who is my primary doctor? That would be uh, McLean. Well, you know what, McLean? You're actually in pretty decent shape. So I think you can take time out of your day to... Oh, you're already tending to him. Wow, look at you go, kid. Look at you go. You're just you're just flying through these things. Okay. Um, I am making some stone blocks. I could, I suppose, replace some of those. Oh, Flapjack. Oh, my goodness. You move so slow. So, my god, it's Kunic all over again. In any incarnation where she only had one leg. Okay, um, Dumbo. First things first, how are you doing, kid? All right, we cut you and we shot you. That's fine. You're going to be dead in 10 hours. No, you're not. You're going to be fine. You'll be totally, totally fine. All right, come on. Come on. All right, anyway, uh, Dumbo, let's work on converting you, first of all. And then we'll work on recruiting you. Because I don't care what you do, I will take virtually anyone. But what do you do? Uh, actually, you're really good at intellectual. All right, so there's my research guy right there. Research and crafting taken care of. You're not too bad at shooting. You're not good at plants, but you love doing it. Same with construction. You're not very good, but you love doing it. Okay, I can kind of work with this. This is not bad. Um, My cat is alive, right? Yeah, broadly. Broadly, in the strictest technical sense, the cat is is still alive. Not by much, if we're honest. And we are. Okay, back to work, everybody. Back to work. Uh, McLean, you just... Oh, uh, by the way, McLean, you can be on uh, healing yourself, by the way. So why don't you heal yourself? Yeah, tend to, tend to yourself. Oh, I see you're immediately grabbing some drugs. Yeah, McLean's like, hang on, hang on. My man left some stuff up here. My man left some stuff up here. And I am going to go get it because I have... Yep, yeah, he's right in. Right into that. Didn't even waste a moment. Barely got himself a band-aid on. He's like, let me just go grab this real quick if we could. <laughs> Did you make a cat spot, a medical spot? Um, No, but the, the cat is alive. Again, in the strictest technical sense. There, now it's a medical spot. Um, it's no longer assigned. Well, I, I think it'll reassign itself. It'll be fine. Everything is fine now. Um, where's... Oh, God, Flapjack. And this is at medium speed. This is at medium speed. And she's moving that slowly. Here, let me put it on regular speed. Oh, my God. It's it's like she's just... she's She's been hit by slow-mo mode. It's just awful. Uh, Flapjack might be the bionic woman. Oh, guarantee you that. Guarantee you that. What Can we see what exactly... Yeah, moving is 20%. Because you are drunk and have a bad back. You are drunk and you have a bad back. Maybe. Not now, because I need, I need all hands on deck. I might do the thing where we just basically anesthetize her for a month until the alcohol addiction is gone. That might be the way to go. Because, boy, that is a huge hit. Huge. I mean, a lot of it is the bad back. Can I see how much of it is the bad back? That's down 30. And then this is 
down 30. Okay, so yeah, we're down 60. That's I'm still I'm still short some points there. It's alive-ish, Mark. It's mostly alive. It's most it's alive enough. I mean, it's alive in the sense that it is in fact alive. Um, I should probably start to perk the rooms up here. It'll, if nothing else, it'll give people something to do while we're getting some more steel dug out. So let's do that and that and then that and then all of that can go in there. Uh, we, we need to do some kind of max mining right now. That'd be great. Unfortunately, that's Flapjack's job. Could somebody else get in on that, by the way? Who else could be doing max mining? Um, McLean could. There's no specific reason McLean couldn't be in on some of this. Because, wow, Flapjack's got, got like one thing done. One, one thing done. Okay. Whew. All right. That's, you know what? This is fine. A heat wave already. Oh, super. Really? It's, it's like, it's like day three. Okay, uh, that's fine. You know what? I, I, I'd like to say I can cope with that. I really can't right now, but I'm going to try and basically do that. So let's, we don't have the steel to do this, but we will fairly soon. Let's start by not, I know, this is a stretch. This is not what I normally do in a game. Let's start by not killing the prisoner immediately. I know, you're like, Dave, what channel am I on? What channel am I on? You usually tend to your prisoners last. We usually have to constantly remind you to check in to see if anyone's feeding your prisoner. But you're putting the passive cooler in the prison first. I must be on the wrong channel. I must be on completely the wrong channel. No, I've learned from Wicked Sorry Rita. Okay, when people say they're hot, they mean it. So I'm gonna put one in there and one in there and then with the vents, that will kind of balance out a little bit. There's not much I'm gonna do in here. It's way too big a room more than anything. Um, okay, everybody think cool thoughts. You think they could just go for a dip in the lake? Because that looks really cool. That should be, a, if that's not a mechanic, it should be. They should be able to like go walk through the water and that will cool them down. Uh, are we building all these things? Yes, we are. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, that's gonna be way too late for that meat. <laughs> way too late. Uh, don't forget to harvest the prisoner's organs. No, no, I want this guy. Uh, speaking of which, and again, trying to not kill my prisoner, let's make sure that somebody is at least on wardening one. Um, you're on wardening three. I'm gonna put you on wardening two. And you're terrible, so we won't do that. Wicked sorry, Rita. Wicked sorry, Rita. I just the neck. I said that after after Wicked sorry, Rita. I said the next time somebody tells me that they're wicked hot, I'm going to take them seriously. And here we are. Look at me taking things seriously. Okay, heat wave pops up, and I'm like, hey, the guy who's literally trapped in the room. Let's take care of him first. Oh, we're feeding the kitty. Oh, good for us. Good. That was nice. I like it when we feed the kitty. A kitty gets some food. Kitty's bleeding all over the place. Um, how is this food still here? This has got to be going off like right now. 18 hours. Okay, I'm surprised it's 18 hours. I'm shocked it's 18 hours. Although they are finishing off the freezer. If they could just finish off the power, we, we could be getting somewhere around here. In terms of having like a reliable source of food that isn't rotting is largely what I'm looking for there. We're feeding McLean. Yeah, that's that's great. We're kind of kind of running a little low on the food, what with the feeding the prisoner and, and whatnot. I'm going to start hunting uh, because I kind of need to, actually. Uh, donkeys. All donkeys are dead, and all of these guys are dead, and those guys are dead. So let's get somebody on who's on max hunting. That's probably going to be stone. Okay. Um... Yeah, there won't be too much left to construct, but just in case, let's put you on hunting one. And I'm um, just getting some food in here, some basic food. It'll just be, you know, meat meals, but there it is. Do I think I've got enough? I probably do to do the things that I want to do here. That's probably enough steel. It might be. I'm, I may, might let them go through a few more blocks of that. Wicked sorry, Rita. I'm trying to take people's heat concerns slightly more seriously however it is 92 degrees inside right now stone how hot is it in here because your door is open actually it's cooler in here because your door is open i should probably just pop all the doors open it's only 83 outside it's oh it's eight okay it's dropped back down it's 88 inside 88 i know my stove isn't done 
I know. It, it'll it'll get done. We, we have a problem with steel, so we need to get some steel in play right now. We've got a fair chunk of it over here, just not very much right now. It'll all come together, though. This is all going to be fine. There's a monolith throbbing right outside our door, but this is all going to be fine. Pay no attention. To, I think that's our last of our food. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, we've got beer left. Base, and there, we just fed the last of our food to Dumbo. Um, there might be some raw stuff we can get. Hey, you know what? How about we go harvest some berries, maybe? Just to kind of tide us over. Uh, berries, 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 berries. There's got to be one in here somewhere. Right? There's got to be one in here somewhere. There's some. Okay, so at least we can get something done. What are you doing all the way up here, Stone? Oh, you're hunting. Oh, good. Yeah, no, good. I want you to do that. Yeah, no, that's a really positive thing that you're doing there. Um, uh, McLean, I know you're digging. Could you finish off these power conduits? Because then we can have some stored food. And then I'm going to probably bring you off of, um, the thing that I said I was going to do there. Are we still missing some somewhere? Show me, no, no, show me power, please. Yeah, we're missing one more. Uh, McLean, I really, really need you to wrap that up, please. There's the ancient mech. Okay, fine, fine. I know where that is. Collins need rescue. Um, Flapjack's down. Fla Flapjack's down. Okay. Uh, alert, alert. Flapjack is in fact, is in fact down. Uh, Stone, can you rescue? Oh no, you're out hunting. Uh, never mind. McLean, I know you're building a thing, but could you, could you go do that, please? Flapjack's down. All right. Um, I said, I said Flapjack is, um, is going to be the star of the show here. Flapjack might not survive that long. And we've also just lost power. We've, the power that I so diligently put together, we've just lost. Okay, this is this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine right now. Um, why is my cat on fire and outside? Oh, because the room is on fire. Oh. Um. Right. Okay, uh, Stone, I know... I know you've got a lot going on right now. But could you come back and A extinguish the fire b extinguish the cat and then i'm not really sure what i've got on the table for you after that but there's going to be some there's going to be some things that need to happen here um right okay some parts of the base are on fire and those parts include the cat who is currently on fire um not a little bit either like a lot on fire like not okay mclean could you extinguish the cat, please? Just, I don't know, douse it with water or something. Just douse it with water. Do just get to the cat. But the, the base is gonna burn to the ground. Base is gonna burn to the ground. I'm gonna burn and, and of course this is just gonna increase the heat stroke issue, naturally. Uh the cat's dead. From you know, being on fire and whatnot. I uh, no, it was a no, I don't think it was a boom rat. I think we um Wow. Wow, RimWorld. Wow. Is this because I won the last run? Is this is this because I... Is this because... This is because of Tittles. This is because of Tittles. Because Tittles happened and I managed to keep that kid alive through all of this. And this is RimWorld's revenge. That's what it is. This is RimWorld's revenge. RimWorld has said, I'm done with this guy. RimWorld has basically said, nah, no more games. I know I'm technically a game, but no, no, McLean, maybe focus on anything but that fire. You failed at putting the cat out. Uh, you, you failed at putting the cat. Yeah, I, I'm very familiar that Stone is down, Willow. Thank you. I can see that. Um, I don't really have a counter to that one. Uh, so I think this is all revenge for Tittles. RimWorld has woken up and said, that Dave guy. That Dave guy. I'm done with him. I am done with him. We are going to wreck him every single time he tries to play. You know what, McLean? Don't even bother anymore, man. Just don't bother, man. It's okay, dude. You can you can just I, I think the fire is beyond um beyond your capacity to control it. Alright, so um we'll be starting this up again next week. You can move. Can you move your colonists away? From, they're all dead, Willow. They're all dead. McLean is the only one who's not dead. The cat's dead. Uh, Flapjack will be dead very, very soon uh, because she's going to burn to death, and all of our stuff will be burned. 
uh, and uh, there's there's fire everywhere. Can it, are are you seeing what I'm seeing, Willow? Because I'm seeing the map on fire. Uh, Flapjack's going to be dead soon. Um, I'm seeing the map basically on fire right now. So when you say rebuild, I, I see where you're going with that. Um, when you say rebuild, I see I see where you're going with that. You're saying McLean could maybe rescue Flapjack to, I don't know, a sleeping spot or a medical spot or something like that. Um, and then we could start all over again. Um, I'm going to I'm going to throw some ideas. I'm going to throw some ideas about that. Uh, we have no food at all because uh, any food that we had is in our is in our stomachs or on fire. Uh, we have no cat because the cat burned to death. Uh, we have at this point only one colonist because there's no way Flapjack's going to survive that while I'm having this very silly monologue with myself. Thank you, Hurley. I feel I deserve that one. Thank you. Uh, Flapjack's dead, so we can we can actually take Flapjack off the table right now. The table is on fire. The table is also on fire. We don't even have a table, and it's on fire. Uh, the beer is on fire. I want to be very clear about that. I have a colony of alcoholics. Our beer is on fire. Our beer is on fire. Okay? So, Cassiopeia, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I am... Okay, you know what? You know what? Challenge accepted RimWorld. RimWorld's mad at me. It's all tittles. RimWorld is mad at me. Because I kept Tittles alive. I created genius out of that kid. Alright, he started by eating his own mother and wearing her as a shirt. And he evolved into a cyborg god. Alright? So, RimWorld said, No. No more. No more with you, sir. We're going to destroy everything that you create. And I say, Challenge accepted. You know what, RimWorld? I will see you next week. You ain't playing anymore. I ain't playing anymore. Alright? We will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and by we, I mean me. We will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with RimWorld. And I ain't playing anymore either. Alright? You want it, RimWorld? Come and get it. Come and get Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Alright, Flapjack's Revenge will probably be the name of the colony. Well, you ain't wrong about that. Surely you can get one mod for this patch to plan carefully and re just recreate Tiddles. Um, I, I mean, apart from the fact that I, the only time I mod RimWorld is when I want new DLC because that's apparently a, a running joke now. Uh, apart from that, I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, mod it. I, it's, I, I enjoy the challenge of RimWorld, and I'm going to enjoy this even more. No, McLean is, no, McLean is. He's doing so good work, and now it's raining. Uh, so when you say rebuild, I, mean, I have I have no materials. I have some silver. I could build something out of silver. That might be nice. Uh, it has been a long time, Dance with Sheep. Now it's raining. Now the fire is gone. All the all the roofs have collapsed. Every, everything, it, even the bodies are gone. Even uh, there's no trace. The cat's still here. The beer's gone. The beer burned. I don't know how you burn beer. Um, so, and he, and McLean did indeed tend his wound. Good for him. Good for him. Okay, you know what, RimWorld? This is fine. This is fine. This is how you want to do? Alright, cool. Cool, we'll do that. We'll do that. Alright, so, obviously, we'll, um, we'll start all over again next week. Again. It'll be very, very exciting. We'll, um, we'll just let McLean have the remnants here. This is, this is... This is fine. I can't even deal with that many pop-ups. I can't even deal with that many pop-ups. That's, 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 and he's going to have an extreme break risk. Um, just out of curiosity, McLean, how sad are you? Wow! I actually have to scroll down for sad. Yeah, Flapjack was your daughter. That's right. You're probably pretty sad. And your friend. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, rotting corpses. That's going to happen. Totally going to happen. Okay. Yeah, th this is all fine. It is cleansing. You know what, Grundle? It is cleansing. RimWorld and I, we've been getting along too well. RimWorld said no more. And you know what? That's fine, RimWorld. Challenge accepted. I'm going to kick your ass next week. I, this, this I swear. I'm going to take RimWorld by the scruff of the neck and shake it a little bit. And shake it a little bit. Yeah, McLean's sad. McLean can have the planet. Um, we will, um... Well, we'll start all over again next week. 
That that actually, apart from the very first time I played RimWorld where I opened the Ancient Evil on day one, that's the fastest I've ever gone through a colony. Where are we at? We didn't even get to we didn't even get to summer. That is a that apart from my very first day, apart from my very first day, this is the fastest I've ever gone through a colony. Uh, small A makes me want to play RimWorld again. Um, well, no, no, I, I didn't mind the alcoholic part, Em. I thought that was kind of fun. And her name was Flapjack. Um, but RimWorld clearly has a mad for me. And I will accept that challenge. And next week, I'm going to kick the crap out of this game. All right, this is my promise to you. RimWorld ain't playing anymore. I ain't playing anymore. Yeah, she was the other person's daughter. McLean is very sad that his daughter burned to death. Uh, and the cat, and friends, and literally everything else, and starving, and all of that. Uh, perhaps younger colonists next time. No, I'm just going full throttle, Willow. I'm not messing around with, with RimWorld anymore. We're, we're going to do this. All right, we're coming back next week, and we're going to start all over again. Again. Okay. That's the fastest I've ever lost a colony since the very first day I played it, and that is wholly unacceptable to me. We usually do this for a year. A year. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going to go. I'm going to go into training mode. So um, basically, you know, Rocky movies where they do the training montage. Just picture that for like the next week, because this is basically what happened. This is Rocky three. OK, this is Rocky three. So Rocky, you know, in Rocky three, he's all like kind of cocky and he's arrogant because he's like Rocky. And then Mr. T comes along and Mr. T punches him into the ground. So that's what happened today. But then Rocky goes off and he does a training montage to some cool music. Uh, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor, in case you've all forgotten. And he comes back and he just whoops Mr. T. Whoops him. Uh, RimWorld short montage. So I want you all to picture me in a training montage during the next week. Uh, possibly with Eye of the Tiger playing in the background. If I could do it without paying a license, I would put it on next week. But no, that is very, very copyrighted music. So we're all just going to have to hum it. All right, so just hum Eye of the Tiger by Survivor for the next week. Uh, well, six days, technically. And I'm going to go into a training montage. And we're going to come back better than ever. Better than ever. Mr. T of RimWorld is going down. Guys, I am out. Thank you so much for this absurdity. I don't even know what happened with that. I will see you guys all next week. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this publicly. I do absolutely love doing this. Uh, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your weekend and all of that stuff. I will see.